Hey everyone, it's Ryan Scott from churchsetup.com and today I'm gonna to be answering a question that we get quite a lot and that is how to use our streaming kits which are based on the A10 Mini Pro or the A10 Mini Extreme, how to get those to work with Zoom and it's gonna be really easy. So this is gonna be a short video but hopefully it's gonna be a very helpful video and we're just gonna jump right into it. So thanks for being here today, hopefully this is helpful. Okay, so before we jump in and really get started and I show you how to connect with Zoom, I want you to see the setup that we have here in our studio really fast. So I'm gonna switch camera views here and I'm gonna show you kind of um, from our desk setup, this is my iPhone that's connected to our software that we're recording with um, over NDI, um, which is really helpful. But this is our A10 Mini Pro and I have one camera running into it, which is the Blackmagic uh, design camera that you see um, this angle from here. And I have my iPhone shooting in just so that you can see um, the back of the A10 Mini Pro, how I have it set up. So uh, first, before we get into the Zoom software, um, I think this is an important thing to cover because I have noticed some people trying to use the HDMI output to connect to their computer and um, they're plugging it into their graphics card or they're plugging it into some HDMI port in their computer and it's not working. And the reason that is not working is because if you're gonna come out of the HDMI output of the A10 Mini Pro, you're gonna have to have another capture card like an Elgato Cam Link or something like that because you are you are basically bringing in the A2 Mini Pro like you would a camera. And so you have to have a capture source for that. That's not the best way to bring the A2 Mini Pro into a computer for Zoom because that view is for multi-view. It's um, the HDMI output of the A2 Mini Pro is to show you the multi-view, especially if you have multiple cameras. Um, it's important because when you're connecting to Zoom, you don't want to cut to uh, the wrong camera or something during the middle of the meeting. You know, if you're supposed to cut over here to to Johnny and you cut to Sally instead, um, it, it can be awkward and distracting to people that are in the meeting. So um, using the HDMI output of the A2 Mini Pro, I would actually go into a monitor and utilize that multi-view preview window that the A10 Mini Pro gives you. Um, same with the A10 Mini Extreme. That way you can see, especially if you have multiple cameras, you can see kind of what's going on with those and uh, and only switch to the ones that you want to switch with and it cuts out a lot of mistakes. However, um, I do recommend connecting to the computer through the USB output. Now that's a USB-C output and I have this cable here. This red cable is actually, oops, my hand got in the way. Um, this red cable is actually going from USB type C, which is here to USB type A, which is the normal kind of USB thing that everybody uses um, and that is plugging into my computer and that's how I'm bringing the A10 Mini Pro into my computer and that's what I recommend because then it turns the A10 Mini Pro into a webcam source. So now I'm gonna open up Zoom here and I'm just gonna show you um, how we would go about this. Um, I'm going to start a meeting somehow. Let's see here, uh, Zoom, start a meeting. And uh, you can see the, the meeting comes up here. Now, where I wanna go to enable my A10 Mini Pro is to come here to this little thing here and make sure that I choose just uh, black magic design. It might have something crazy like this, but this is the signal that's coming from the A10 Mini Pro. When I enable that camera, what you're seeing here now is the signal from the A10 Mini Pro, which is coming into this right here. If I am to push this button, what you're gonna see is that zoom goes black because I don't have a camera on that port. Uh, but I push number one, my camera view comes back. You can have up to four signals coming in here. And now zoom is seeing the A10 Mini Pro as my source, my video source. Now, when it comes to audio, this is really important as well because zoom will see audio inputs as well. You can see you've got you got your speaker here, which is you know your your monitor for the meeting, but you also have a microphone here, and you're gonna have a bunch of different options for microphone depending on what kind of peripherals you have connected to your computer. Now, um, Blackmagic Design is the A10 Mini Pro's audio, <coughs> excuse me, audio source. And if I click that, then that means that Zoom is now getting the audio from the A10 Mini. 
and uh, you can see if I unmute that that it's not getting any audio because I don't have any audio going to that camera and so there's no audio coming through this so what I need to do is connect an audio source which most churches are going to be using this from their mixer and I will be back in two seconds after I get my my audio source plugged in Okay, so normally if I was in a church, they would have a mixer, a house mixer with like a, an auxiliary output or a monitor output or something like that. And we include um, cables by default that hook up to most of those with an XLR output. And it's a cable that looks something like this, but it has this 3.5 millimeter jack on it. So I'm gonna plug this into mic number one And that is how you would connect audio to the A10 Mini Pro. And then you would connect this cable, um, this end, into the XLR cable that we include. And you would plug that into your mixer. However, I don't have a mixer here. <laughs> so I actually have, um, I actually have our roadcaster pro over here i could use this um, as an example but it is a lot of work i'm plugging things i've got cable ran everywhere this is a sit and stand desk which goes up and down which means that if i unplug these cables it's going to take forever for me to plug it back up again and i'm just too lazy to do that so i am going to cheat and i'm going to use a different microphone i'm going to steal my camera microphone here um, that i use uh on just kind of point and shoot cameras um, and I'm going to plug this in because it has it has the right uh, output <clears throat> cable to connect to the A10 Mini Pro. So I'm going to plug this in just so that you can see kind of how it goes. I'm going to plug it in here. Now it is plugged into microphone jack number one. I've got the power on and everything like that, and I'm going to talk into it. But before I do that, we're gonna jump over to the ATEM control software and uh, jump over. You'll probably see this window when you load it. You wanna click over to audio, and you wanna make sure that you mute all of your uh, microphone cameras um, just in case. Um, so I try to turn these all down because the audio that comes from your camera is gonna sound really, really bad. So if I actually turn this up, you can see that um, I'm actually getting some audio input from that camera, but it's camera microphones are really, really bad. So I'm going to turn those off. And the thing that I want to look at is the microphone one. This is, um, the control for this input over here. So mic one is the control for this input here. And um, I want to make sure and turn it up <clears throat> until the audio is jumping right into the yellow there. I don't want it to go into the red because if it goes into the red, then it's going to um, feedback. So use that visual kind of uh, cue to see how loud your microphone should be turned up. Now, here's one thing that a lot of people say. They say, well, the audio that I'm getting to the A10 Mini, it's just it's super, you know, um, crunchy, it's, it's distorted. And what happens is if you turn this up way too loud and you get into the red, if you turn this up way too loud and you get into the red, it's going to do what's called clipping and clipping is when your, uh, audio signals are way too loud and, uh, it just distorts everything. So just make sure that your audio levels are staying in the yellow. And now that we have that audio coming through, I can come back over here into Zoom and I can tell Zoom that I want to bring in audio from the Blackmagic design and I'm gonna turn this on and now you can see I'm actually getting some audio levels from this microphone here. And uh, that's what we really wanted. So that's now I'm getting my audio through the A10 Mini Pro and I'm getting my video through the A10 Mini Pro and all of it is right here. And it really is that easy. So hopefully that was helpful for you if you're trying to get your ATEM Mini Pro uh, streaming kit or your ATEM Mini Extreme streaming kit working with Zoom. That's how it is done. And it really is that easy. So hopefully that was helpful. And, uh, and if so, maybe we can help you out on our next video as well. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions about live streaming, um, go ahead and put those in the comments. We'll do our best to answer them. And who knows, maybe you'll get... Um, Maybe you'll get a video made about your question, but we'll see. But just leave us a comment below. Thank you for watching. Hopefully we helped you out. And uh, if you need any live streaming gear, go to churchsetup.com and check us out. Thank you. We'll see you later.